Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we are going to understand the eight V's, the eight V's which are the characteristics of big data. It was earlier called as four V's, then it became five V's, now it is eight V's. Yes, the transition has really happened from the four V's, that is the volume, velocity, variety and veracity to the eight V's. It is no more four V's and we have added four more V's to it and we are going to discuss all these V's in a very crispy manner in this session. The first one is the volume, which is V number one. Volume will determine if your data qualifies to be called as big data or not. When I have the data in the order of GB or above, it can be petabytes, it can be terabytes, it can be zettabytes or GBs. It gets qualified to be called as big data. The amount of data that you and I generate every day is really very huge and there is a shocking stat which says that it's going to be 150 zettabytes of data which is expected to be generated by 2024. So, based on the amount of data that you have, the volume will determine if your data qualifies to be called as big data or not. The second V is variety. The data generated is all in different forms. Some are structured, some are unstructured, some are semi-structured and some are very complexly structured. So, the variety of data is directly proportional to the variety of data sources. I generate data and those data are generated from different sources. So they will be having variety and more the data sources, more the types of data, there will be more insights. So this is one of the most important characteristics that you need to understand when you get in into big data. Well, what's the next one? It's velocity. What's velocity? The amount of data that is generated by today is really very massive. And when it comes to streaming data, it goes further challenging. It actually refers to how quickly the data is generated and how quickly the data moves. So think about the number of queries that are made in Google per second. To get insights on this, one should need faster processing too. So you need to understand the speed at which the data is generated. So every minute is data here, 98,000 plus tweets goes in 60 seconds. 6,95,000 status messages go on Facebook, 11 million instant messages go on there and you can see that the Google searches, 6,98,445 Google searches happen, 168 million plus emails are sent every minute. So this is such a huge number what we are seeing in front of us and the speed at which it is generated is very important characteristic as well. Next is veracity. To put it in a very simple word, we need to understand the data if we have in hand is information or misinformation. We can relate veracity very clearly to uncertainty. Yes, the data may or may not be trusted. The source of the data may or may not be verified. So we need to understand this point. Will all the data that come to the pre-processing or the processing stage are valuable? May not be, right? So we need to understand, we need to verify if the source is legit and reliable. So cleansing and the pre-processing stages really play a vital role in understanding if your data is worth processing or not. The next one is variability. This is the fifth week. This is very simple, it is about data inconsistency. We are going to take a very simple example of coffee. You are having a coffee in a coffee shop for three continuous days. Day one, it could have normal sugar. Day two, it could have lesser sugar and day three, it may have more sugar. It's basically upon the person, it, it basically depends on the person who prepares it and there could be a little variation of sugar level here and there. This kind of data is challenging. This is called inconsistency and this is one of the characteristics that you need to understand. Normal sugar, low sugar, high sugar and all three are different data but you go to the same place to generate the data. So understand this point. And the next one is value. This is very, very important point. How much business value does your data bring on table? We should ensure that if the data, whatever we are handling, whatever we are processing, whatever we are analyzing is going to be useful for the organization or not. Unless you get this big V, which is a value, rest all Vs, whatever we are analyzing, whatever we are going to analyze in future are also going useless. So the value should be there on the table. Visualization is the seventh V. The data that is prepared is processed and we have some insights ready. If they are just numbers, you may not be able to understand what the numbers try to convey. If they are just variables, if they are just huge numbers, you will not be able to understand what exactly are the insights that you can draw out of that. So we need to present it in a very nice visualization, very nice format that it can be understood easily and that's the visualization seventh V for you. It should be an understandable format. And finally, volatility, the age of the data. If it is too old, it may become irrelevant, right? So at the current scenario, the large amount of data which is getting generated every second, even the data which is generated yesterday goes meaningless. So you need to understand if the data that you have in hand is meaningful, is volatile or non-volatile. You need to understand that and that's very important too. 
I hope I have conveyed all the A2Es very clearly and thank you very much for following my channel and content. If you have any questions, go ahead and type it in the chat section. I'll be very happy to answer. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Thank you.